Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Tools in Action. Today, we're here with my man, Andrew. <laughs> we're here with my man, Andrew. We can't tell us too much, but he's gonna tell us a little bit. Hopefully, we can find out a little more information from him on this new stuff that they're releasing in 2017. It's the new OPE from uh, Milwaukee. We just went over a string trimmer. You might might not seen that yet. Now they got a head trimmer, and they also have a blower. So let's talk about the head trimmer. What's so good about the Milwaukee head trimmer? So the M18 Fuel head trimmer, has the power to cut thick branches. It cuts faster and it's gonna deliver runtime like you've never seen before. With the 9 battery. With the 9 battery, okay. yep. So unbelievable amount of runtime. Uh, first thing I'm gonna talk about is just how the tools are used. Right, so head trimmers are used in multiple orientations. So whether you're cutting overhead, you're reaching over hedge, or you're working side to side. So the critical thing is making sure that you have total control of the unit and you have a great balance. So we've delivered that with the ME Team Fuel uh, and you can hold it for yourself. Just the balance oh, wow, and control yeah. of the tool. Wait, let me see. If... Wow, yeah, you can hold it out with one hand. I mean, I'm a wussy, but <laughs> wow. Now, this is for the pro, right? This is not for the homeowner? Right, so all of this is stuff is designed for the, after? yeah, so the entire M18 fuel program, we went out and researched with the professional, designed the products with the professional in mind. Now, that being said, it is fully compatible with 100 M18 tools. So anybody that's in the stall base would be, you know, it's ecstatic to, to, to utilize this with any of the package tools that they have today. Cool. See how your fingers are like, dude. <laughs> Prefer no, I'm, not I'm to. Kidding. Well, you know what I get a lot from professionals? A lot of professionals have an open trailer, right? So they're going to stick this in their open trailer. They're going to drive to their next job. What if it rains? Are we going to have issues? So with our, with our electronics, everything's fully potted. We can actually show you over here uh, that we do have fully potted electronics to help Can you zoom in on protect. that a little, Eric? Fully potted electronics to help protect against any rain or condensation. Right. Now, ideally, you're not going to leave, you, know, you wouldn't leave it out in a rainstorm just like you wouldn't with your power tools today. Right. It's not the ideal state. Uh, so it'll be able to withstand some of that, but it's not recommended to leave it out right. weeks, you know. No, I that. understand. But I mean, yep. you just never know. You get it's caught gonna out get, in the It's going to happen. It's outdoor equipment. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come in contact cool. with Cool. And rain. this is all the metal gearing for it and So stuff. yeah, so one thing I want to point out here is Milwaukee's become synonymous with legendary durability and the outdoor power equipment is, is no different. So we've actually utilized a mechanism similar to our Sawzalls. Uh, oh, it's called, wow. Yeah, it's called a slider crank mechanism. And what you're going to see here is a full metal gear case, slider crank mechanism, very robust design to handle anything the professional can throw at it. And what you see here is a competitive, uh, competitive unit with a head trimmer where it's very thin steel stampings. Uh, very, oh, geez. So this yeah, is yours? That's theirs? Yeah, exactly. Yep. So what we have here is our, our robust components versus very thin, lead, or thin stampings. Holy cow. So you, different design for a different user in mind, right? Right. Is your bar replaceable? Yes. So actually, you can see that here. So once you pop off the metal gear case, you unfasten these, and you can swap the blades out, put new ones in. And how long is that bar? So this is a 24 inch. Okay. 24 now, do plate. you have any other plans to have like a, a long extension one of these or anything like that? Um, there's no plans at this time. Okay. Yep. But I mean, you guys are obviously with Milwaukee. This isn't just your, you know, since you're getting into this, you're going to be getting into a whole lot of other stuff, probably that you can't talk about though, but. Yeah, right? and, and honestly, you know, we're excited about these products. We're excited to see how, how they take off, get the get some reception from them. And, you know, I'm not going to eliminate anything that we do in the future, but there's no plans to it this time. All right, cool. And then Cole said we could take one of these today. So is that cool? Uh, that may be a little bit of a challenge. All right, we'll just we'll, go we'll talk to Cole, out. dude. We're taking this. <laughs> Tools and Action, thanks, Andrew. Right. Appreciate Thank it, you. man. Check it out, you guys. MilwaukeeTool.com. Probably won't see anything on this till spring 2017. We brought it to you here first. Tools and Action. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to Tools in Action dot com.